What is up ladies and gentlemen, Sean here. I hope you guys are sweet. Welcome back to episode two of Tactic Fridays. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about something very crucial, something called workflow. A workflow imparts everything that we do as professionals, the time that we spend doing something and the result that we produce doing it. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk about my workflow as a UX UI designer. But before we dive in the video, if you check on my right side here, we have a MacBook Pro 18 inch that I'm using as a powerhouse and a primary display. And on the left side, there is this 30 inch ultra wide monitor that I'm using as a secondary display. That's very good when I'm doing UX UI design because I have to call on my secondary display and preview on my primary display. But what if, what if I want to do the same thing on a Go? That's a very tricky question because I cannot carry my 30 inch screen on my backpack. It's not possible, it's not practical. So what do I have to do? That's what leads us to today's episode. Thanks to Apple, thanks for uh, releasing the iPad OS and the uh, OS Catalina uh, going up to uh, the Big Sur. Now we can be able to use our iPad as a secondary display. This is something that is very cool that I haven't seen a lot of people doing it. A lot of people, a lot of creative professionals carry an iPad and their laptop, but you know, they struggle a lot when it comes to doing their jobs on a go. So today's episode, I'm gonna show you how you can actually use your iPad as a secondary display wirelessly anyway. Let's just quickly jump in the video and check out Sidecar. Okay, first, so let's start by understanding what is the thing we are dealing with today. So, Sidecar is a feature that helps us to improve our workflow by using the iPad as a second display. All right, so moving on to the setup process, first thing you need to do is to make sure that your iPad and your, your MacBook or your iMac or your Mac computer is connected to the same internet connection. The second thing that you want to do is to make sure that they are using the same Apple ID. Lastly, they, both devices have their Bluetooth switched on. So once you make sure those three things are in place, go here on the Apple logo, go to System Preferences. Under System Preferences, go and look for Sidecar. So go here, hit Sidecar. Under Sidecar, it will ask you to connect the iPad. For you to connect the iPad, just go and select the iPad. It will automatically pick up the iPad that is using the same Apple ID and the, using the same internet connection. So in this case, I'm using my iPad, which is the iPad, Sean's iPad. So quickly connect and automatically the device connects. All right, so that's how you easily connect Sidecar and you can start using your iPad as a secondary display. Okay, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching the video. And if you're enjoying this series, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel and let me know what you think in the comments. But until next time, stay blessed.